and welcome to KMVC News. I'm Amber Tabling. The once green leaves may have changed and a few inches of snow blanketed campus at times in recent weeks. But are all things green gone for the winter? KMVC's Marissa Mastro Valerio reports on how Missouri Valley is going green. Recycle, ditch the single-use plastics, reuse a water bottle, and go green. Vice President of Academic Affairs Heath Morgan says these are just some ways Missouri Valley has gained initiative and made the change to going green. On campus over the last several years, I mean, we've done a, a, a great job to, to cross over to use more uh, energy efficient sources of, of light and, and stuff like that. So are we doing things? Yes. I mean, are we 100% green? No. It comes down to if you want to be, if you want to recycle and, and uh, you know, have a green living area, uh, you know, you can. The EarthDay.org website says a full 32% of the 78 million tons of plastic packaging produced annually is left to flow into the oceans. The equivalent of pouring one garbage truck full of plastic into the ocean every minute. Associate Professor of Biology Waylon Hyler says if the cost of cleaning the garbage patch in the ocean was applied to every single use product, people would think twice about purchasing those products. So sometimes I think that we undervalue the actual cost that our activities are having on the environment. Hyler says the initial investment in the sustainable practices can be intimidating. Hopefully in the long run it becomes uh, you know, profitable or, or at least becomes offset the cost that you initially have to invest into that. Together as a college using alternative energy resources, recycling and reducing waste, and driving more efficiently results in fewer pollutants released into the environment. Marissa Mastro Valerio, KMVC News. Hyler says Missouri Valley is on its way to becoming more of an environmentally friendly campus. The social transition is only possible with support from every member of the campus community. A visiting artist presented his work at Missouri Valley College to demonstrate the purpose of art, the emotion it conveys, and the stories it tells. KMBC's Alex Perez reports on the Morris Gallery Showcase that shows the strokes of life and the brush strokes of paint. Mark Weber is a painter from St. Louis, Missouri, who uses art to express his feelings in life. Weber was brought to Missouri Valley College to explain all the artwork he had drawn that was on campus. He says his work means something to him and that it's not just about painting pictures. It's more about thoughts, feelings, and emotions in general. And they all revolve around sort of the circle of life or the idea of reinvention of how we move through life and reinvent ourselves. And these images all kind of uh, metaphorically, I guess, sort of relate to those kind of loose ideas. Matt Rayner is the director of the Morris Gallery at Missouri Valley College, who is responsible for bringing Weber to the campus. Rayner was a student at St. Louis Community College, where Weber was his drawing one instructor. He says his artwork will influence students and why it's important to have him visit. Really contemporary artwork, and it's great to see all this like colorful and not necessarily paintings of landscapes or people. It's sort of abstract, so it makes you think, and it makes you bring your own experience to it and get your own sort of take your take your own create your own ideas about the work. I don't expect them to paint like me, and actually they should. They they need to find their own way. But the idea of the possibilities of new uh, creative things that they can be involved with. Rayner says Weber is donating one of his pieces to the school, but the college has not decided on which art they would choose. Alex Press, KNVC News. The Morris Gallery is located in the Technology Center and is open to the public. The Weber display is open until December 7th. The Missouri Valley College men's soccer team won its second consecutive Heart of America Athletic Conference tournament title and an automatic berth to the national tournament after a quarterfinal win against Graceland. The Vikings hosted the Mid-America Nazarene Pioneers on November 7th. Valley beat Mid-Am 2-0 in mid-October. Cold temperatures were the theme of the day as the temperature at the start of the game was in the low 30s, and both teams were frozen out of the net for more than 80 minutes. In the 83rd minute, Valley's Mateo Ruggieri scored on a cross from Sergio Toro to give the Vikings a 1-0 lead, and that would be all Valley would need. Held the Pioneers to just three shots, and only one was on goal. 
Viking keeper Patrick Irankunda saved that chant. And Missouri Valley beat Midam 1-0 to advance to the tournament final against Central Methodist on November 10th. And the Vikings came from behind to beat CMU to secure the Hart title. Valley tied the game at one on Sergio Toro's goal in the 24th minute. Toro added a second goal in the second half in the game's 57th minute. Missouri Valley hosts Missouri Baptist on November 17th in the opening round in the NAIA tournament. The game has a 1 o'clock start and the Viking Sports Network is carrying the game live on valleywillroll.com. The Missouri Valley College women's soccer team saw its season end with a 4-3 loss on the road to Benedictine. The game was tied at 2 at the half and Valley took a 3-2 lead in the 49th minute on California's second goal of the game. But the Ravens scored twice in the span of two and a half minutes for the win. Valley's season ends with an 11-6 and 2 record and for, third, for the third consecutive year, Valley's season ends at Benedictine. The Missouri Valley College football team entered the final week of the season, looking for something to build on for the 2019 campaign. The Vikings owned a 2-7 record heading into the finale against Mid-America Nazarene and into Team Senior Day as 10 seniors walked on Greg Mitchell Field for the final time. The game was scoreless into the second quarter when Valley's running back Nick Hudson rumbled 12 yards for a touchdown. The Vikings converted the PAT for a 7-0 lead. After a pioneer field goal in the third quarter, Valley's Jake Bridges hit Jordan Londo for a 16-yard touchdown pass, and Valley led 14-3. Midden scored a touchdown late, but the two-point try was unsuccessful. The Valley recovered an onside kick, but couldn't run out the clock. Midden's final pass was intercepted by Aaron Ross. It was the senior's second interception on the day. And Valley and its seniors end the season with a 14-9 victory. And that's KMBC News for this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Amber Tabling.